Hi, welcome back. Um, so this is basically going to give us three types of entrepreneurs. There's going to be the ones, the good kind, that always invest. Then there is going to be the, the bad kind that never invest. And then there is going to be the ones in the middle, which are the fair kind, which, you know, it depends on, on many things, whether they invest or not. So whenever something happens and uh, this kind of change, for example, if they move the, this way, it ends up being the case that more people uh, are able to, to invest, so there is more investment. Now, let's look at the good kind of entrepreneurs. These are the most efficient people. You know, they're the kind that um, the cost of producing is so low that the expected uh, net return is greater than zero, even in the bad state of the world. And on top of that, if they get audited. So, you know, these people are really um, the kind that can repay in every single situation, even if, you know, they get the bad state of the world or if they get audited with probability one. So if the worst comes to worst, these people, these people are able to repay, so they're the good kind of entrepreneurs. Now you can see that their consumption is increasing in the amount of savings they have beyond this cutoff point. Remember, this was the point at which, uh, in the bad state of the world, they were able to just repay and uh, not consume anything. But of course, they would also they would they would consume in the good state of the world. So this is not zero uh, because this is expected consumption. Now, when we are below this solvency. Uh, um, wealth level, that means that we are uh, investing all the wealth we have uh, as good entrepreneurs in these projects. And, uh, you know, we don't have full collateralization, so we have to have some uh, agency costs to control us. But then, beyond this um, solvency level of savings, when we're able to actually consume a, negative, uh, a positive amount even in the bad state of the world, then, you know, we'll be indifferent between investing and storing uh, beyond this level. And, uh, you know, we've already invested all we got and uh, there is no need to audit us because we're basically the good kind. Now, imagine we go into the fair kind. These people are going to be a little more tricky. Uh, well, you know, they're, they're going to have incomplete collateralization until a point that is higher. So basically this cutoff point of solvency saving rates is higher. So, you know, below this point, uh, actually the return of storage, which is this, it's, it's just uh, getting R, is, is more than the return of investing. So, uh, you know, these, these folks are not, are not going to invest. They're actually going to just save, store it. Beyond this level, in between these two points, these people are still, you know, um, they're going to want to invest because the return of investment is higher than the return of saving, I mean storing, so they're going to want to, um, you know, invest, but they're going to be fully invested in their projects and they're going to be the kind that is below this um, solvency savings rate, so they're not going to be wealthy enough so that even the bad, in the bad state of the world, they might have problems. Now... You know, this this kind have so high, um, at least high enough costs of investing that, um, you know, they can get positive profits in the negative state of the world, if and only if they don't get audited. So if they do get audited, they're screwed. They will be getting, uh, you know, negative consumption in that state. So, you know, these people are kind of uh, um, on the edge when they're here. If they do get audited, uh, they're playing the game, but they, uh, if they are in the bad side of the world and they get audited, then they don't, they don't get to consume a positive amount, and they just consume zero. You know, but these people are fully uh, into their projects, so they got everything in there. Um, so they, we have to control them in some, somehow, so there's going to be some agency costs, because there's the probability that we have to in induce the probability of auditing them so that I don't do weird stuff. And you know, beyond this solvency savings rate, um, they're fully contributed to their own projects, but you know, they're able to uh, pay back 
Ibn in the bad state of the world, um, because their their savings, their wealth is is high enough. So the problem in this case is really with this guy is when we have agency costs. Beyond this point, it's just good old full collateralization. Now the bad kind, they're um, they're so bad, uh, they're uh, this is so high for them that their their costs of investing are so prohibitive that they will never ever invest. The only thing they will do is store the money. So as we have seen before, um, the probability of you know the entrepreneur getting audited in the bad state is is fairly important in some cases. Uh, and this is what is going to give rise to uh, to agency costs. We already saw that when people are, are uh, wealthier, when the entrepreneurs have more of their own capital in their project, if this wealth increases, if we have an increase in the savings of the entrepreneurs, then there is less and less need of auditing until this point where we pass the cutoff. Um, at this point, you know, the probability of auditing is going to be zero. There's no need of auditing and there's zero agency costs. So basically, you know, increasing uh, wealth of the entrepreneur is going to decrease the need to audit them because they're going to be borrowing less and less with respect to their own capital to invest in their, um, in their own projects. Now let's think about the expected price of capital. When this increases, this means that these cutoff points will, will increase. You know, these guys are going to move over here and these guys are going to move over here. So there's going to be more investment and these people are going to be, you know, able to invest more. Um, um, basically, because the future returns of, of investing are higher. That means that even in the bad state, you're uh, more likely, if this increases, to be able to pay back um, the amount you owe. So these are the two keys. Whenever the expected price of capital increases, uh, you expect more profits in the future when you invest. So you expect to be more able to repay uh, the amount you owe. And you know, whenever you have higher wealth as an entrepreneur, you also expect to um, um, be able to repay uh, the full amount because you had to borrow less of outside funds because you were able to uh, use your own funds to finance yourself more. So the basic intuition that this you know increasing increasing wealth of entrepreneurs allows them to get less uh, indebted and an increasing future profits will allow them to get you know more return in the future to pay back the existing debts, making them more likely to be solvent. So both of these things. Um, higher wealth and higher expectation of future profits will lower the need for uh, auditing, will lower the agency costs and lower this probability of, uh, of auditing. Now remember that in the case with uh, perfect information there was no need for auditing but now that there is auditing we, we clearly see that there's going to be less capital in the economy, that the supply of capital is, is going to decrease for any price because um, we have to now introduce this remember HD was the amount of projects that were audited and this was the amount that of the cost of auditing one project so this is going to bring down the whole uh, capital level and well the demand of capital is not it's not affected in this case so this basically means that remember we had this supply of capital well, now, when we have um, imperfect information, we're going to have uh, a supply that is less than the perfect information one, precisely because we have to um, subtract this, this number of projects that are audited minus the, the cost of them being audited. So this means that the maximum amount of capital is going to be the one of the perfect information world. Whenever we're richer, we approach, we approach there. Um, and there's also going to be a lower bound here, but we're basically going to have supplies that are, you know, above above this level.